Okay, uh, this is the second part of my video. <laughs> All I did was back up the car in the garage. Uh, I kind of got organized. I organized all my tools. Um, I have my laptop here so that I can document and upload uh, and answer questions. I've got my beer. Um, I've got different colored tape. I've got some markers. Um, I'm probably going to need more. But what I want to do is, as I'm dismantling this, I'm going to mark whatever wires I remove uh, from the distributor and anything on here. I'm going to try to color coordinate everything, or at least label them with numbers so I know how to put it back together. Um, and uh, I'll go from there. I removed all the bolts to this, uh, I believe it's back valve cover. I'm going to see if this will pop off of here. Looks like there's some silicone around it, so it's probably step on it, but hey, there it goes. All right, let's see. Here it goes. The gas is coming off. That's what that looks like. Uh, oil everywhere, splattered everywhere. And uh, lots of oil in there. All right. So let's see what this gasket actually looks like. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh, 
Okay, I removed the uh, valve, co valve cover <coughs> and uh, part of uh, the hose is right here. Um, I removed to get out of the way. I disconnected the exhaust manifold uh, down there and I was hoping I didn't have to do too much more to get this uh, head off and I have to go all the way down um, to there on this side which is clear but on this side it looks like I have to remove the fuel injector uh, this is in the way and then after I remove that there's um, this which is I, I think the air intake um, because that's connected on their side and that's where the, the air was coming from so I may be wrong I'm not a mechanic but I'm doing this myself I'm learning some more as I go and I'm um, pretty mechanically inclined. Okay, I think I removed all of the bolts, disconnected all of the tubes, the wiring, uh, everything I could see connected to this head right here. And I loosened up these bolts um, in order: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what I was uh, what it said in the manual. So I'm about ready to. Well, I guess I, I missed a few. Here. Um, take these bolts out and see if the head will come off. It's actually attached to this uh, right here. Uh, so instead of taking this off, which I couldn't get to because the bolts are underneath, um, it's almost impossible. But it's attached to the head, so I'm hoping that this whole piece will come off because I disconnected all the wiring and the tubes um, from everywhere I can see. Okay, so let's bolts start here. Okay, I'll keep the washers on him and make sure these. torque wrench because I know when I put this back together you have to torque these down a certain amount. Right. Back. I'm going to start going to do these bolts and I'm going to loosen those two. And if I can go Don't have washers. Just make sure you grab the washers. I don't see what Move out of the way, oh, Owen. Yeah. Owen, move because Dad and them are going to set it right yes. there. Nick! They're setting it on that towel. Nick! <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Are you seeing, Mom? Did you video? Yeah. Okay, good. There's the cylinders. Here's your uh, head gasket right there. Yeah. This opening? Yeah, this is all we need to replace right here, but I need to find out if it's, you know, I don't know where it was leaking.